Hello, I am your chemistry teacher, Savinam Das. Today's topic is what is molar mass. We also calculate the molar mass of an element, molecule, and compound. So, molar mass. The mass of a given substance, chemical element, molecule, or compound in gram divided by its amount of substance that is mole. So we can define mole. Mole is the amount of substance of a system that contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12. A student, did you remember relative atomic mass in which we consider carbon as a standard? Which carbon? Carbon 12. So, so the molar mass of a particular substance is the mass of one mole of that substance. Now, determining the molar mass of an element. The molar mass of an element can be the standard atomic masses in gram per mole of that atoms. Recall your memory. Predictable. From the predictable, we get information about element. For example, we presented carbon 12 here so we can collect following information from the predictable atomic number carbon having six symbol of element carbon symbol is c name of element that is carbon and atomic mass 12.011 and we are using unit amu therefore atomic masses of some elements carbon 12 AMU, nitrogen 14, AMU, iron 55.8 means 56 AMU, sodium 22.9 means 23 AMU, chlorine 35.45 means 35.5 AMU, aluminium 26.98 means 27 AMU, sulfur 32 AMU and oxygen 15.99 means 16 AMU. These are presented in the periodic table. Now, we are considered the mole. So, molar mass of any single element is the atomic mass of that element expressed in gram. So, we replace AMU with gram. Therefore, carbon, molar mass 12 gram, nitrogen, molar mass 14 gram, iron, molar mass 56 gram, sodium, molar mass 23 gram, chlorine, molar mass 35.5 gram, Aluminium molar mass 26 gram, 27 gram, sulfur molar mass 32 gram, oxygen molar mass 15.9 means 16 gram. Unit of molar mass gram per mole instead of AM. So we can collect information mass from the predictable and AM is replaced with the gram. Now determining the molar mass of a molecule. The molar mass of a molecule can be calculated by adding the standard atomic masses in gram per mole of the constituent atoms. Now, in a molecule of water, the molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram, hydrogen 1 gram. What is the molar mass of water? So, 1 hydrogen having mass 1.008 gram means 1 mole. In water, formula is H2O, 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. Add all the masses, so we get 2 gram per mole of hydrogen, 16 gram per mole of oxygen. Add them, 18 gram per mole of water. Therefore, the molar mass of molecule water is 18 gram per mole. And determining the molar mass of a compound. The molar mass of a compound can be calculated by adding the standard atomic masses in gram per mole of constituents atom. So, in a compound of sodium hydroxide, the molar mass of sodium alone is 23 gram per mole. The molar mass of oxygen 16 gram per mole and molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram per mole. What is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? In the formula sodium hydroxide, there is one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. Add them. So 23 gram per mole plus 16 gram per mole 
plus 1 gram per mole we got the 40 gram per mole therefore the molar mass of the compound sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole another example in a compound of NaCl the molar mass of Na alone is 23 gram per mole and molar mass of chlorine is 35.5 gram per mole what is the molar mass of sodium chloride one sodium 23 gram per mole one chlorine 35.5 gram per mole add them we got the 58.5 gram per mole therefore the molar mass of compound sodium chloride NaCl is 58.5 gram per mole so dear student we can say that the molar mass is the mass of a given chemical element molecule or compound which is present in gram divided by the amount of that substance that is mole example first example how many moles of ice h2o are present in 100 gram of ice water since the molar mass of water is 18 gram per mole we can divide the 100 gram of water by the molar mass of 18 gram per mole to find the moles of water this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 18 gram of gram per mole so if the equation is arranged correctly the mass unit gram cancel out and leave the moles as a unit 100 gram of water means one mole mass of one mole is 18 gram cancel gram 100 divided by 18 we got the 5.55 mole of water therefore we can say there are 5.55 moles of water in 100 gram of water. Another example, example number two. How many moles of sodium hydroxide are present in 90 gram of sodium hydroxide? Since the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole, we can divide the 90 gram of sodium hydroxide by the molar mass 40 gram per mole to find the moles of sodium hydroxide. It is the this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 40 gram per mole now if the equation is arranged correctly the mass unit gram cancel out and leave the moles as a unit 90 gram given mass of sodium hydroxide mass of one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram divide 90 divided by 40 we got the 2.25 mole of sodium hydroxide so there are 2.25 moles of sodium hydroxide in 90 gram of sodium hydroxide example number three how many moles of sodium chloride present in 12.5 gram of NaCl? Since the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.5 gram per mole, we can divide the 12.5 gram of sodium chloride by the molar mass. That is 58.5 gram per mole to find the moles of sodium chloride. This is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 58.5 gram per mole. So, if the equation is arranged correctly the mass unit gram cancel out and leave the moles as a unit therefore 12.5 gram given mass of sodium chloride will be divided by mass of one mole of sodium hydroxide that is sodium chloride that is 58.5 so we got the 0.21367 mole of sodium chloride therefore 0.21367 moles of sodium chloride chloride is present in 12.5 gram of sodium chloride so their student molar mass can be served as a bridge between the mass of a substance and the number of moles since it it is impossible to measure the number of moles directly okay before leaving you know the formula we can calculate number of moles by mass divided by molar mass we can calculate molar mass with the mass given by number of moles divided by number of moles nitrogen molar mass 28.014 gram because nitrogen having n2 it is diatomic form it is nitrogen molecule nacl molar mass 58.44 gram carbon molar mass 12 gram okay thank you if you have any queries or question please message me thank you student